Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Jen here. Today I am sharing a week's worth of dinners. I started off the week with this awesome sausage kale soup. It's the Olive Garden Copycat Toscana Soup is what I think it's called. I'll link the recipe down below. I just keto it for myself. You'll see that throughout the dinners this week. I keto fry them for myself, but my family's not keto, so I just make stuff on the side for them, and they can add it through. Like this soup, I did some little potatoes on the side, and then they could just add that in their soup, and that way I didn't have to have the potatoes. But I do fresh kale from my garden, ground Italian sausage, heavy whipping cream, chicken stock all together. Uh, like I said, I'll link the recipe down below, but it turned out absolutely amazing. And I also made some Southern Keto Blueberry Muffins from the Southern Keto Cookbook. They are absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend them. So here's what's for dinner tonight. I made lasagna spaghetti squash. And they're super good size. So we, my husband and I are going to split one. And we also have a side salad with it. Tonight's dinner is a low-carb version of jambalaya. I did sauteed up some onions and peppers and then added the sausage in there with some rice cauliflower. And I used this beef smoked sausage, which is three carbs per serving, and this kibasi, which is two carbs per serving. And I just add both of those in there. It makes a ton for leftovers. And I'll show you when it's plated up. And here's what's for dinner tonight. This is jambalaya. I haven't made this since I've been on keto. I used to make it with um, jasmine rice, but I did rice cauliflower, as I said earlier, and I've already tasted it. It's absolutely amazing. You could do a salad on the side or something. I used to add corn before, but I left that out so that it would be keto friendly. And I made a ton, and this makes super awesome leftovers. And here's tonight's dinner. I made a ton of meatballs. I'm getting ready to throw in the oven. I did a few of them wrapped with bacon and then some plain. And I will show you when everything's plated up. And here's our dinner tonight, all plated up. We have a couple meatballs that are wrapped in bacon and some without with a side salad. And that will do it for dinner tonight. You could do sauce on the meatballs if you want. There's a lot of ways to do them, but we just have them plain with a salad. Tonight. And tonight's dinner will be chicken noodle soup in the crock pot. I've got my onions, carrots, and celery already diced up here, ready to go in the crock pot, as well as some fresh oregano and fresh rosemary from my garden. And then I'll be adding some salt, pepper, ground ginger, and minced garlic, and chicken stock and vegetable broth to the crock pot. I will be making egg noodles for the rest of my family, but I won't be adding them in the crock pot. I'm just going to just cook those on the side and they can add them to their bowls. So I have a couple boneless skinless chicken breasts in the crock pot here, as well as some boneless skinless chicken thighs. And I'm just gonna add all the seasoning and vegetables right on top and then cook it on low for about six or seven hours. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. and here is the soup done and out of the crock pot mine has no noodles and everybody else I did the egg noodles on the side for them to add to their bowls so this is what's for dinner tonight I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas for dinner or low carb options for dinner how you can kind of change up regular meals to make them low carb if need be and if not and you're not doing keto then you can just do these regular or add whatever you'd like. If you guys want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up so that I know to do more of them. And let me know down in the comments below if you are going to try any of these meal ideas. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.